Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about a new content to manage a website through studio. So suppose you are running a business of rental cars. So you need to manage with an app of rental cars and you can also uh, make access to the customers from the website. So let's see how can we seamlessly manage this workflow in order to empty studio module. So first we need to create a model. You can just click on toggle studio where you can create a new app and here just click on new where you can just give the name of the app. So as we are running a business of rental cars, you can provide the name of the app as rental car or rental cars and you can also design your icon by choosing different colors. So let me choose the icon and change the colors, everything. So let's customize according to our need. Here you can just change the color. So once it's done, you can just go on with next or you can either upload a file um, and here we can just provide the menu name and we are going to create a new model and just click on new and while creating the app we have to get certain fields so we need chatter, archiving, custom sorting, monetary value, picture and tag so let me go with this and let's create our app so here you can see that finally our app is created and if you want to add more things to here you can add that. So let's close this and you would be able to see that the model will be created here and the created app can be visible in the window. Here you can find the created one and let's choose the rental cars and you can see that currently we don't have any data over here which has default views such as list um then pivot and graph now let's create a new rental car where you can provide the name of the car as hound day so let me provide the name as hound day and you can also set the value of this so let me set it as fifty thousand dollar and you can also uh, set the tag like whether it is automatic uh the engine type and everything so let me set it as automatic then you can also create another tag which is a uh, diesel okay and you can also upload the image of the car so here we can choose the image of the car and yeah let's open that and this belongs to grant so you can just um, also give a tag of that so that we can just uh, filter the data accordingly so once you create this, you can save the uh, details over here and we have an option uh, called website menu in yeah, Odo Studio where you can just create a new display record on your website. So let me go with new list and you can just create the name over here. Like we have to set the basic parameter uh, parameters like we have to provide the name so that a URL will be generated upon this. So here I'll be providing the name as rental cars and here you can see the URL is auto generated over here and we have an advanced section called domain that is to uh, get the records. So here if you want to just uh, set any domain to filter the data as you can set that currently we have one record that is the record we have recently created. So if you want to create a website menu you can toggle this field and um, you can also just use a toggle field to create a single page. Afterwards, you can save the changes and uh, you would be able to see that uh, a rental car uh, is created with a model rental cars. So let me choose that. So once you choose that, you would be able to see that, um, yeah, we have just created and published it in the website. So if you want to make further additions, you can change that and you can also search the created cars that is the created rental cars from the section as well as you can also get different views such as uh, list and uh, kanban i mean grid uh, so if you want to just list this let's move on with the list save the uh, changes and list it so if you want to just view the details or uh, further things you can just go uh, like this 
and if you want to make any other additions over here you can just change uh, from here itself so um, yeah let's move on to the theme and here we have uh, different sections and if you want to change anything you can change it from here okay and uh, you can also change by uh, choosing different things such as you can just uh, yeah give features different features uh, as well as you can also get uh, uh, other things like set counters donations or uh, if anybody want to contact using any social media platform they can contact so as you just give this over here uh, customers can also uh, access this site through um, the other social media platforms uh, so afterwards you can save this now if you want to just dive into the model page just click on here where you can just go to the model page this shows everything like the view and view name and menu that has generated now let's move on to the um, yeah uh, rental cars and you can see the one that we have created now let's consider a situation where uh, the customers need to make a rental through the website so in such cases let's move on um, to the toggle studio and we can just access that directly from the website like we can just create a website form uh, for the customers who wish to rent uh, the product directly from the website so here we have an option uh, to add a form so as you just uh, see that you can see uh, the customer can just make a request so here we can provide the name of the customer and let's click on submit so that uh, the form will be submitted and that can be viewed under the rental cars so when you just move on to the rental cars here you can see um, the one that is already created and yeah you can also see uh, the request that has generated but uh, you can see that we haven't set any other details over here like we have just uh, received an inquiry through the website so in such cases uh, the user uh, I mean we have to fill out the details of the user so let's move on to uh, here and you can see the data will be appeared in the back end side and uh, we can set the amount of that so which is for $45,000 and which is um, manual and it's BMW so you can just give the tag as BMW and it's manual as well as it's petrol so you can provide all the details over here and you can also upload the image so let's upload the image um, of the BMW and let's save the changes and Let's move on to the website and see the further change, changes. That is, uh, all the changes will be reflected over here. So when you just move on here, you can see uh, the changes that have given in the back end side. Okay, so it's very easy to handle the website through a studio module, which is one of the new feature in Odoo 17. Um, and Odoo is uh, beyond our expectations, right? So hope this concept is clear for you and that's all about the uh, topic. So as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.